Where am I? This is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice... It's Maynath! Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once, only a god could perform such a miracle! But today, mankind moves one step closer to no, the divine! No! It was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future and our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility, but that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. 
It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, Creator. Tell me your decision for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods!